Hello everybody, welcome back to The Real Coffee Talk with Tina and Debbie. We're so excited to see you today. I've been gone on vacation and allowing Debbie to do all the work. <laughs> So, yeah, she was so nice. <laughs> Today you'll get to hear a little bit about our trip to Kauai, Hawaii, and I'll try to tell you some adventures that you could um, participate in. But first, we're going to ask Debbie what she did do while I was gone. Well, while she's off sunning on the beach in Hawaii, I'm back here in the cold with my coat on, <laughs> taking a self um, concealed carry class so we can do some research and the fellow that gives that class is actually going to be on the show so I had to know a little bit about the concealed carry class and I'm gonna tell you you're gonna be surprised at some of the things we learned really yeah so while you super were super exciting well yes if I know I need to take it we've discussed yes. that and I just couldn't get on the schedule for November yeah well just my personal opinion if anybody that owns weapons, which I own several, I, I know some of you know that I go hunting a lot and do things like that, but you should take the class. I think everybody should take, whether they carry or not, you know, it, that's, that's a personal decision. However, if you're going to be hunting or anything, I, I think the concealed carry class is very beneficial, whether you carry a concealed weapon or not. So when, when Darren Gross comes on the show um, from DG Power Sports. He's amazing. He's just really good at this. He's a pretty good guy. Oh, I think so. I think so. So he's We're gonna... talking about you, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> so Darren's going to be on and he's going to tell you some things about the class and how to sign up and the things that are taught there and what you're going to need to know before you go and while you're there. And I just think it's, I think it's really cool. Although yep. I'm in a coat and freezing to death while she's tanning on the beach. I was tanning on the beach and I was not taking the concealed carry class. And she wasn't doing a story. She I just, didn't even write a story. <laughs> not even a picture. <laughs> nope. Just, nope. just relaxing. <laughs> I wasn't even hibernating. I just laid on the beach quite a bit. But So what are some of the cool things that you got to do at Karate? Probably the neatest. Of course, our first thing is our mother and father-in-law. See my mother and father-in-law. And, and mom and dad were terrific. Of course, how could you not be terrific in paradise? Oh, my goodness. But we started early in the morning, and we would go hiking. We went to the North Shore. There's hiking and canoeing. Where they live is right. Kauai. Yes. So it's one of the only islands, and it may be the only, but I don't know that. <laughs> That's way too much for me to know. But it is one of the islands that has rivers on it, and you can um, kayak. Oh, So wow. not all of Hawaii has that. No, they don't. Yeah. So yeah. this one has... Um, a river on it and we went kayaking but my favorite is probably besides seeing the family is riding my bicycle so Papa had everything ready for us and oh. we rode and they have a beautiful in Kauai they have a beautiful bike path that you just ride along the ocean it was super fun I wish everybody could just make that plan to go and see At least and once. enjoy experience the Kauai or oh. Hawaii Islands oh. I would love to do a, a jumper eventually and go to every island, but I haven't. I have not accomplished that yet. Uh, so far, I've been to Oahu and Kauai, and Kauai is my favorite. It's very rural, right? So it's not the hustle and bustle if you want to go out dancing and things like that. But it's very eventful. You get up in the morning, early in the morning, and it's dark pretty early so you're just ready to relax oh I'm so relaxed that I kind of keep thinking about all the things I'd like to tell you <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I could go back there and sit on the oh, ocean yes and of course you have all your uh, you know your mountains and the beautiful waterfalls yeah so it is simply paradise but you you go there to relax that's not you a do. place Kauai is not a place you would go to have an adventure I mean, other than a nature adventure. Yes. If you're a hiker, if you love to ride mopeds, or they have rentals of mopeds and motorcycles, but it's still not a commercial where you would ride up and down a road. You're actually going places. I think they have new four-wheelers. We didn't do the ATVs, but they have ATV tracks, and oh, you can go out yes. and do that. Uh, the chickens are always the funniest for me. You know, if you've never been to Kauai, you don't know, but there's chickens, and they're everywhere and free range free chicken. range chickens um, you're not to eat they're just that's their that's their habitat that's where they live so I always think that's great my favorite is to see all the scenes so no it's not a place you want to go and you know run 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 you just truly go to relax and enjoy the environment and the people are fabulous the locals 
and the not locals, the people that have moved and cho choose to be there. They're magnificent. We had dinner at different places and one of, oh, I have to tell you, I met a new friend and I hope Barbara sees this. Her <laughs> name is Barbara and she told me of a story and I want to tell you this for the simple reason of all the things that we've talked about with Live Love and my right. new company. So Barbara told us a story back in the 70s she moved to Kauai and it was so interesting. I said, well, how did you get this beautiful farm? I mean, she has acres up this great big hill and oh. we were just privileged to see yes. where she lives and she has a cow and this cow actually moves for her to come out and feed it still. It's past infant stage and she can only feed it a little bit from the bottle because I guess it hurts their stomach. Right. But he still expects her to come out. Oh and so that's goodness. why we were so invited he's a pet. to He's a pet. Yes. He's a pet and everybody knows. And to hear her tell the story is hilarious, but I didn't get to see that him mooing and waiting because she was waiting for us. However, she took us up and let us see her magnificent home and all of her orchard. Now, why is that such a neat important story is because in the 70s she was broke. She lived for, worked for a staffing company, lived at the bottom of the hill of her beautiful acreage, and her home is fabulous. She said she would walk up there as a young woman in her 20s and meet the people. They would say, you don't have any money, you can't buy this. She said, I will buy this property. This is my home. I will buy this property. And so they would just laugh and invite her in. Well, eventually, and I don't know the whole time frame, but it wasn't very long, and they asked her to purchase the property. Oh. And she didn't have any money. She went to the bank, and she said they laughed at her, basically, because she was working for a temp company. Right. She didn't have a job. I mean, not a steady one. And, of course, it's quite a bit of money over there, yes. even in the 70s. Yeah. She purchased this because there was a women's lib or reform for getting a loan. Oh. And so within a, so, so a time benefit. period, yes, they called her and said, don't be late on your payments. And she bought, does that give you code chills? Yes. It gives me code chills because she visualized. She spoke it into the oh. universe. She asked and she received and she's I think she's in her 60s maybe 50 early 50s I'm not quite sure how old she is don't quote me on that especially not to her <laughs> no no I don't know how old she is but uh, she always looks very young but it was beautiful and just to hear see her property oh, wow. and to hear her story just amazing just don't forget if you want it Go for it. Make yourself a goal. Yes. And then, then work towards it. That's I mean, to do that. And when she told me the story, I just stood there and looked at her. I said, you're amazing. And she said, I'm not amazing. I said, yes, you are. To hear that story. I mean, it was weak. One week this, and the next week, and the next week, and it just fell like dominoes. And she still owns it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I think she'll be there. Forever, long, yeah. Yeah. Oh, long yeah. Time. Yeah, that is great. That is well, you neat. had a good time then. I did. I had a great time. Now Glad to back be back. Glad to be back, and I've enjoyed the holidays and ready to go into the next adventure. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the next chapter of the adventure. Right, right. <laughs> I love all the adventures. Just put them all together and the journey. Right. right. Yeah. I just, well, we have a ball no matter what we're doing. We do. We always <clears throat> have a good time. Yeah. Now, why. Why do you think you are going to make your next adventure on December the 8th? Why do you, why do you think that's come about? And that's a pretty interesting story. It is. It's a very interesting story. So, of course, you know, I had my accident on December 8th, yes. 2016. I fell and I have many, I'm not going to tell you everything, but I fell and had a pretty, pretty tragedy for me. It was a, a tragic experience. A injury. Right. Yeah. They wanted to, um, thought they may have to take her leg yeah. from the accident. So there were several things that happened. Yes. And Several, a couple of surgeries over the year, and I'm not complaining, but so you know that December 8th, we scheduled our first happy celebration. Now, it sounds like we would just be having this happy celebration and inviting just our family or things like that, but no, we've decided, and I have decided, I came in and begged Debbie to help me. She didn't I said, beg. please, please. <laughs> But we've decided at the Fountain Building that in Madison, Indiana, we would get together, have a happy celebration, and it's open to the public. And it's going to be fun. We're going to learn so much about just using new tools to find your own happiness in whatever spot you're at. Right. Well, how to, how to make sure your life is balanced. Right. And your work and your free time at home. Exactly. And to focus on yourself. I mean, we focus as women. It's 
just normal. We focus on our kids and we focus we on our spouses. But there is a time in, that you need to focus on yourself. And if you don't, you'll end up burning out. Right. And so. you want to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, life is meant to be enjoyed. And I wrote in a blog the other day, I thought this was so interesting. We continually pray, you know, and we constantly ask for protection. And then we ask for help. Right. But then we still carry those things that we are asking for help instead of saying, okay, you have it. Right. And, and so probably that is the most important part is to realize that you know you need to find yourself and when you ask for it allow right yourself to receive it yeah. you know I mean I know I've said a many prayers and many a nights and then walked up woke up the next morning and picked up my bag of all the things that I wanted to be <laughs> answered and all those prayers and said it's okay I can take care of it I just needed to ask you when in actuality we probably ought to leave that burden or right. questions or whatever we're worried about Drop it, pray about it, walk away. Well, there's, there comes a point. You can't change what's going on at the moment. You can't. You, and there's no way. You just have to stop and say, okay, I can't do anything about this right now. Mm -hmm. Then I need to focus on the rest of my life. Right. And take care of it. Just like this. And that will take care of itself right. eventually. And so. we do that. I mean, just in coffee talk for you guys. Yeah. I mean, we constantly are evaluating. We watch it. We look at, does, did everybody get something out of that? Did they right. receive the kind of information or message that we want to give? And that's what December 8th is going to be about. And yeah. I'm super excited. I hope that you'll come out at 7 o'clock. Yeah. December 8th, Fountain Building, Main Street and Broadway. Yeah. Right? And so just come out and have fun with us. We have a we have a limited amount of space, but Yeah, so if you should gonna, be okay. Yeah. When, you're, know. when you're registering, um, you might ought to go ahead and do it as soon as possible because there is a limited space in there. Right. You know, a number of people. It's not a great big place. Well, I mean, it's a nice We're not venue. gonna have a hundred people. Right, but right. There'll be plenty for you to right. talk to. So she's gonna she's gonna give you some tools that right. uh, you need to keep in your toolbox when it comes time to evaluate what you're doing and where you're going is that the way you really want to go or right. do you want to one of the things else? I thought you said I just want to expound on for a minute was the change we can't always change our circumstances right. I would have I say now I probably wouldn't have but at December 8th 2016 last year I would have probably chose to not have my leg broken it did not I didn't plan it no it didn't happen I didn't get up that morning and say today's gonna be the day I'll be in the hospital in surgery at about seven o'clock however if you can hold on you know and that's one thing that I, I'm truly focusing our company on and the more it evolves the more it comes about is right. not suicide awareness but more of pause if it's really that bad if you'll hold on one minute it will change right give it two it gets even better give it three you know everybody goes through something everybody you have loss you know you right. have things that happen financial emotional spiritual but if you can just hold on you know and it's like you said we can't change everything but at least we can change how we view it and we can just pause for a minute and hold on you know well I think the neatest thing about especially what happened to you 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 had a plan and you had a focus on where you were going what you were doing and then you broke your leg and everything in your life had to change not Stopped. not just the fact you had to have surgery but your entire goal everything mindset had to change right so now that's how this has all evolved and now you have a, a company that is going to benefit not only you right but everybody that comes in contact with you or the classes right or the and that is or our seminar. mission yeah that's our mission here at coffee so, talk we want you to have fun you know but we also want you to be enriched and live love is that's what it's about right. that's why we make a perfect marriage <laughs> Well, we want to make sure that we present things to you that will help enrich your life. Right. Whether it's it's going to Kauai or if it's taking a concealed carry class or whether it's finding out a national event day or right. a national month day. Things that are just neat and make, make life nicer, you know. We didn't bring up a national day today because most of our holidays are oh. approaching very quickly <laughs> which is enough <laughs> yes if you're already on the countdown I mean it's very close it's yeah. extremely close so while we're talking about the holidays is Debbie and I had a conversation before we recorded coffee talk right and we talked about love 
of course we have the love chapter <laughs> and we talked about love during the holidays and I'm sure most of you know that there's quite a few people that not necessarily about the gifts right but struggle with not having anybody so we're challenging you to find somebody whether you accept them into your home for dinner right. or you take them a treat or maybe you just put them on a call you know and you call them once a week once a month whatever it might be right. but start during the holidays and and there's things you can do not just during the holidays you can volunteer at the boys and girls club um, check at the girls Inc to see if there's something you can do there um, kids always need a positive mentor mm -hmm. a big brother big sister program um, I personally just now my kids think I'm crazy for this but I tell them I don't want a funeral because I don't, I, I don't want funeral. I don't want flowers either so if you know me really well you already know I don't want flowers I want you to decide you're going to help a kid somewhere oh that's wonderful and that's your thing yeah that's it that's all I want you can make me cry but oh, no, don't start because it will lose I've already cried once we, today I don't need to cry again. we gotta get through this without losing it so anyway that's just my goal is that if something happens I don't want people to I don't want my kids to come to the cemetery after I'm gone if they miss me then they need to go to the Boys and Girls Club or Girls Inc or somewhere where there's kids and volunteer for the day or volunteer for once a month or something right because those kids need them I don't I don't need them obviously I'm not nothing's gonna change in my life because I'm not here anymore so I just think that you know find somebody or something that you need to do if people are embarrassed you think they won't uh, take it well then wrap up the clothes that you have that you're not wearing anymore and you know it's their size and leave it on the front porch or or leave it by their mailbox or take it to their workplace and put their name on it and just say you know this is for so-and-so and walk out the door they don't mm -hmm. have to know you're the one that brought it right but you know find somebody that needs a little exactly. extra and I love the way that you extended it just like we talked about but you know most people think about the holidays mm -hmm. and they think about how, you know we want to find somebody and we want to bless them and, and we're we want you to do that as well but maybe take it a little further this year take it as 2018 as yes. your year yeah. to commit to making someone's life or creating and helping someone's life be better yeah I mean because I remember at the nursing homes when we were teaching school we would take groups I mean beta and you know all of our groups would go to the nursing home right. they would make cards or we would do all these different events but then January came and nobody saw anyone right you know and when I was growing up I don't know if you guys have do still do this but I think they do at nursing homes is my mom always had me adopt a grandparent yes and it, it they were safe you know they made sure it was a safe uh, person to be an environment of because I was a child and you were at the nursing home it wasn't like you went somewhere right right so it's and you I went in and I saw her I think I saw her every day for a year I mean I, you don't have to do that but I mean she was like my other grandmother and that if when she passed we would go on and find somebody else that maybe didn't have visitors right so that's just another suggestion we're just challenging you for 2018 to make it terrific for not only yourself but for others right and you know during the holidays too sometimes you think well I don't I have all this stuff I need to buy I have these kids I need to buy for my, my grandchildren and all this you know maybe during a meal sometime somewhere which a lot of times we bring it up during Thanksgiving is who do you want to take care of this time as a family right. so everybody is say you you do a drawing for your who's gonna buy for who right so you're in a drawing you decide you're gonna spend fifty dollars on each person pull that back to say thirty dollars forty dollars and everybody put ten dollars or twenty dollars in a pot and that goes to an angel tree kid or that goes to whatever shop with a cop something wonderful program as too. a family. big brothers big sisters yes. there's so many and you make the grandchildren the children and the grandchildren do that and I think that that puts it in the kids minds as a routine that every right. year as a family we do this mm -hmm. and then everybody benefits from it right and then your your grandchildren grow up and that's just in their mindset that we take care of other people not just ourselves mm -hmm. so that's fun I that's think always so. fun I, I think it's neat as a family because now you know as a family we did this right. so life is supposed to be lived and I kind of get a little sad when I talk about it but I've lost some people to suicide yes this area has been hit quite hard yes um, it, life's too short 
and if I can teach you anything, if I could do anything with my company, hold on, pause, let it pass, it will get better. It, it always does. It yeah. always does. And you also need to remember that there are people out there that will listen. There are people out there that will help you. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to do everything by yourself. It's, it's not the end. No. You know, and of course, I, right now, I know I'm a little teary, but of course, right now, I'm, I focus on a lot of the teenagers or right. the young people, and they're struggling with some things, and I know Christmas is one of the times. It's one of the worst times, and, and people won't always share their struggles. Right. And I think if they understand anything at all, there are people that will listen. There's a hotline out there. Mm -hmm. And I know several people at the Boys and Girls Club have taken the class in order to be able to be on that hotline. Mm -hmm. And they can talk to you and help you find help somewhere, find places to go, find you know individuals that will sit down with you and help you. Just don't, don't try to do it by yourself. No. That's the biggest thing. Ask for help. Yeah. It's okay. I promise. We have all had our down valleys. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember Christmases I, th I thought, Am I going to get them anything for Christmas? Yeah. I mean, exactly. I would work two and three jobs. I mean, I know that seems trivial, but to me, that was very important as a, as a young mother. Well, that too. I think we put too much pressure on ourselves. We do. To buy big gifts for everybody. And, right. And, you know, maybe as the person getting the gift, don't expect so much. Yeah. You know, go to your parents or your sisters and brothers that are buying things and say, hey, I really don't need that much this year. Right. Why don't everybody go together and get me this? A chair or whatever right you know so that you lessen the expectation on their side if they want to spend a lot of money they can but they don't have to and they don't feel like it you know exactly I wouldn't talk about buying a house in front of everybody you know if everybody <laughs> but, you know, but seriously you're right you're right don't expect so much and don't start out giving so much right you know make the gifts personal they don't have to be expensive no I, it's not about that. No, no. You know, don't always say tis the season. You know, the se season is about love. Right. And I think that's probably one of the times that we decided. You know, not only was it the anniversary of a wonderful event that changed my life forever, <laughs> yeah. but it's also to bring in the holiday season as to remember it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And so try to lessen the expectation on everybody's side of it. And uh, enjoy. And enjoy it. And, and choose somebody that you know could use a little extra something. And uh, maybe as a family or at least an individual, you know, as an individual person, go and do it if the family's already made plans. But next right. year, think about that. So, As always, we have so much fun bringing you Coffee Talk. If you can think of anything you'd like to hear about, we would love to write about it or even yeah. uh, record about it. So ha we have a wonderful season. Have a happy holidays yes. from our home to yours. As always, we thank you for watching.